keynote speakers, guests, and researchers' performance, please accept our modest work, our author's research festival. So, okay, uh, let's see. I'll give myself at maximum 15 minutes uh, to introduce you to what formal logic is uh, in such a way that after those 15 minutes uh, you will be able, well, you will be justified in calling yourself a logician. Well, the idea is to represent the fall of the bomb. In fact, the fall is not a fall, never falls anywhere, it's a mental collapse. So the central idea, I would say, of my piece is that the movement of the harmony can be not only distinguished, but also in contrast with the motion of the components of the partials I have used. supposed to dance a strange dance, a fidelity and obligation on the one hand, whether to the composer or my own notion of what the material seems to do or require, and individuation on the other, with significant deviations producing the sense of having something to say, a performer's voice. But as Mary Hunter points out in an article about the performer's role in earlier music, the injunction to, as she puts it, honour the composer, express yourself. Don't think of this as a contradiction. To improvise, he says, is to follow the ways of the world as they open up. I can just show you very quick, there's not one musical example in these books. So they, they stay in these reified generalities. 
And what we are proposing now in the Mitro Tuan is a very clearly materialist approach. So we are talking about real things in the real world. And right after that uh, is the more experimental concept uh, of this session, which is to allow the technology that we're using to open up new possibilities that were somewhat inherent in the, in the tradition of the piece. is that the discrete, the discreteness is still there, but within each discrete event there is fluidity because each discrete event is not simply a strike. The bell sounds have been distributed over time, mm -hmm. so the don don is like all the partials of the bell mm -hmm. sounding in succession and it becomes one unit. Yeah. So each of those gestures seems to me to be defined by fluidity. Yeah. Uh, classical music doesn't exactly like traffic or... Well, would you like to uh, play some music alone? Would you like to have a collaborator? We can collaborate with some. Okay. So who would like to hear a kind of free improvisation? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Researchers argue that the ear is a more accurate measuring device than the human eye. However, in my view, the power of sound for social methodology is that it disrupts the hegemony of the eye and that it's inherently connected to motion through vibration. The principle of the Golden Section in the Middle Ages, known as the Divina Proposition, 
treatment has been referred to as a basic structural principle in nature. Several examples are found in the human body, and it has played a fundamental role in architecture and the visual arts throughout the rest of history. <laughs> Thank you. 